People in our area say they have seen coyotes getting closer and closer to their homes. WSLS 10's Patricia Martellotti has a look at what you should do if you encounter one. What do they sound like at night? For Sarah Martin, coyotes are becoming unwelcomed guests near her home in southwest Roanoke. I don't see them as much as I hear them at night. Um, so I, I know they're out there. As leaves begin to drop, more coyotes are coming to town with the intent to stay. Because they love pastures and um, thick brush is where they typically like to stay. So we're drying up. Uh, warm days, people are getting out. This is the time when packs of coyotes are looking for new territory. So they may be coming into this area and they'll stay until um, they don't do well enough and they'll move on. Meanwhile, Garvin says not to let their good looks deceive you. Are coyotes your friends? No, ma'am. Um, these are wild animals. They're very, very smart. They're um, a, like a very smart dog. They can carry rabies and they can just bite you. As harmless as they appear, these are not animals to take lightly. Cover your trash cans. It's just think about what we do with bear. We don't want to leave foods outside. As well as small pets. And so it's a good idea to keep your pets indoors because they are around. Even if you don't see them during the day, they're still, um, they live here too. As coyotes move eastward, Garvin says they're not expected to leave the region anytime soon. In Roanoke, Patricia Martellotti, WSLS 10.